do you know your purpose? Like really and truly know what your purpose is and why you're on this earth. Well, if the answer to that question is either no or I'm not too sure, this video is for you. All right, y'all, during this video, I'm gonna give you four ways to help you define your purpose. I'm gonna show you how by defining your purpose, you will be seeing your ultimate happiest life and getting to that abundance we've talked about. So. Stay tuned all the way to the end of the video. Let me ask you a quick question. Did you know that you will, in your entire lifetime, work an estimated number of 90,000 hours in your whole entire life? And the worst part about that, y'all, is that you'll be working for someone else's dream. And I don't know about you, but I don't feel like I was put on this earth to make someone else live their best life. So that's why your girl is here to help you with these four steps. Step one to finding your purpose will be self-reflection, okay? And I recently did this for myself because you know, you're know you always learning, you're always growing, right? So I had to do this for myself recently. Write down like an inventory of your skills and you truly do not know how many skills you have until you do this, really and truly, skills and gifts, okay? So let me give you an example. I've always been friendly, like this, you know how you are able to connect with me, you know, we were friends over YouTube. I do this all the time, I do this in person, and my husband and friends have always said it to me, like, dang, you can talk to anybody, like you even talk to the Uber driver. They even make fun of me, y'all, and they say you sit in front, you know, the front seat of the Uber. People make say that, and I'm like, duh, it's uncomfortable, like I'm okay talking to people. So guys, I didn't know that was one of my gifts. And I did not know that till I did this exercise of reflecting and taking an inventory, literally just listing down the things that I do easily, right? So step one is self-reflection. Write down all the things that you do comes to you easily and harder to others. Those are a part of your gift and those might direct you to your purpose, okay? So step one is self-reflection. Let's go on to step two. All right, y'all, step two. Step two is gonna be exposing yourself to different things right? If you're used to your normal setting, like say you go to, you know, your work, you go to school, you go to gym, whatever, and that's it. And you don't talk to anybody, try something different, right? So exposing yourself to different things and different scenarios. I have a story for you. Back before I became Tanisha Teaches or started exploring my world of being a coach and an entrepreneur and helping individuals reach their abundance, I just knew that I was just living my life, right? until I went to a seminar, y'all. I went to my first seminar and I saw people living their best life. I saw them making millions. I saw them making six figures. And I said, ooh, I didn't know this was existing. I didn't know this was a thing. So by doing step two, y'all, I exposed myself to this world of digital product, entrepreneurship, speaking on stages. And guess what? Because of this, I've tapped into my purpose of helping individuals like yourself, exposing people to the side hustles and ways to make money online or whatever the case is because I tapped into something different. I exposed myself to a different avenue so that now I can use my gift of being able to talk to individuals, right? Being able to be personable. And now I'm able to help individuals like you see that there's ways to live a more abundant life. So by exposing myself to different avenues, I was able to better cultivate my purpose. So step two, is exposing yourself to different things and different experiences. And I wanna stick a little caveat to this, write this now down next to step two. To experience something extraordinary, you have to do something extraordinary, okay? We can't expect these amazing things and continue doing the same thing over and over and over again. And understand and know this right now, write this down too, change is uncomfortable. And you need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable because guys the only thing you should be worried about is being in the same place you are this year next year that's the only thing you should be scared worried about don't be scared about trying something new be scared of being the same person you are be scared of hollering that i'm broke all the time be scared of always having to turn down a trip being scared of living paycheck to paycheck because if a shoe drop you're gonna be on the floor melting in a puddle of mush right? Asking for, whoa, help me, go fund me. No, go fund yourself by finding your purpose, right? I hope this doesn't hurt y'all because we family, we friends. This is my, y'all my peoples. But I hope you hear the passion in my voice and understand that this is for you. You're here because this is, this is meant for you. This message is meant for you, okay? So 
Tap in and take notes. Let's go on to step three. Step three is to know what your core values are and your belief. Your purpose should be tied to your core values and beliefs. You can't be living in your purpose if you don't believe it deep down inside of you, okay? So for example, my belief, right, is that I'm supposed to be living an abundant life, right? My core values is that my family shouldn't want for anything. Right? So those are things that are deep down inside of me and that are going to continue to propel me into my future. Right? In addition to that, my core values is believing in God, right? And knowing that my help comes from God, right? And that God has put a gift inside of me so that I can not only help my family, but be a blessing to other families. I know that my purpose is not just for me to, to live lavish. I know that because God would not have made me such a friendly person. God would not have given me the gift to talk to people, to teach, to educate, to communicate easily. That would not be my gift if it wasn't meant to talk to people. Y'all get that? I hope y'all are seeing that the examples that I'm giving you, you should be able to turn those to you and see how these things can mimic or mirror for your life. Okay guys, so I'm not giving you these examples just to say, hey, look at me. These are examples so that you can say, hey, how, how, is, how is my core values tapped into my purpose? How am I here to help other individuals? How am I here to elevate and get to abundance, right? So I hope y'all are, are getting that as an example, okay guys? Last but not least, let's go on to step four. Y'all, before that, Thank y'all so much for sitting through so far. Like y'all are bomb. This video has been amazing. I enjoyed like making it, preparing for it. I know it's gonna be a blessing to someone. So if it has been a blessing to you, make sure you comment down below and give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. But let me define something real quick. We've been going in digging, digging deep. This video is bomb. But do you know what purpose means? Like we talk about, yeah, my purpose, purpose, purpose. But do you understand what that means? Purpose means the reason you exist or the reason something exists right? That's your purpose, right? A pencil exists so that you can write. Same thing for us. Our purpose, our reason for existing, that is our purpose. And you have to literally take a look at yourself right now. Is what you're doing in life, oh, this might hurt someone's feeling. If you really look at your life right now and you say, hey, mirror, self, is what I'm doing my purpose? Is this why I exist? Do I exist to clock in and clock out? Do I exist to be miserable? Do I exist to hate my job on a daily basis? And do I exist to just live paycheck to paycheck? I hope you realize that you don't. That's not why your purpose. If no one has ever told you, hey friend, that's not your purpose. You were born here with a gift for a reason. And maybe this video is your wake up call to say, hey, I only got a short time on this earth. I only, I'm only here for a certain amount of time and I am not here to be miserable, but make sure you know you are here for a purpose and a reason, right? You exist for something greater. And I hope and pray that you all feel that this is a season for us to actually tap into that and then find a way to monetize that so that you can get to the life of abundance, okay? If you combine your purpose with an actual monetization situation, a way to make money, then you will receive the joy that you've been wanting or the abundance. So purpose plus monetization or a way to make money equals joy and happiness, all right y'all? Let's go on to number four. So last but not least, ask yourself this question. What do I want to achieve out of life, right? Money should be the byproduct of working in your purpose. Let's just under, let's, let's clear that up. So we want to say something bigger. What do you want to achieve, okay? I want you to, to know something really quick. Let me go back to like before when I tapped into going to new experiences, right? I didn't know that I wanted to be on a platform. Like I was, you know, I'm YouTuber, yes, awesome sauce, but I did not know until I was exposed to stages and seeing individuals speak on stages that that's what I wanted. I didn't know that. And I did not understand until later on when I was doing my self-reflection that my purpose, my gifts all align 
with where I truly want to be, which is on stage, just talking to thousands of people, helping them like realize that there's so much more to life because I felt such an epiphany. I feel like a veil was lifted over my, off of my eyes when I realized that I can have it too. You can have it too, right? You just have to see it. You just have to get exposed to it. And I love that you're here with me. I love that you're a part of this group because I'm going to keep exposing you to it. I'm going to keep teaching you. I'm going to keep pulling that out of you because you're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. The truth, True happiness is living in your purpose. And I want that for each and every one of you. All right, so let me give you a beautiful quote from Pablo Picasso. The meaning of life is to find your gift, but the purpose of life is to give your gift away. So I feel so excited and scared at the same time when I make my YouTube videos. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm excited, I'm planning, I'm like, nervous, no matter if it's the first or the 150th, it doesn't matter. I'm still nervous because I want you all to experience and feel what I'm, tr what I'm trying to convey. And I want it to be received and I want it to touch each and every one of you literally. Okay. So my purpose is speaking, teaching, you know, coaching, helping individuals find their joy, right? Their abundance, the life they want to live. But I want you to, to see that I get to give it away here on YouTube. I get to give it away. I get to give it away and I get to touch so many people that I would not get to touch literally physically in front of me. So this is the epitome for me, the starting point, I would say of my purpose, my next step is going to be on stages and I hope to see y'all there, but I hope y'all take away these amazing points from this video. I love making this video. I had a great time, you know, sharing this with you. I hope you understand that you are a gift that was put on this earth and that you have something inside of you. Please review those four steps so that you can tap into your purpose so that you can live the life of the abundance that you deserve. I does you deserve it, right? And that the, you can monetize it and have a byproduct to make money. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below typing purpose that lets me know that you enjoyed it. Make sure you share it to a friend or family member, right? Someone needs this message that you just tapped into. So I appreciate y'all so much. You already know you are part of the family, the boss of family, right guys? So I hope you have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, and a blessed rest of the year. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.